Hi, everybody. I've got another card flip trying to catch up here um, for y'all. This time I'm going to be doing the pocket edition of the Light Sears Tarot deck. This is a really cool little. It comes in this tin and has the little book with it and the cards, which are tiny. Um, but anyway, we're going to have fun with this, go through them. Hopefully my fingers don't fumble on them too badly. And uh, let's go ahead and hit pause. And I'll switch cameras and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, here we go. This is the tin. Like I said, little, little tin box. Really kind of cool. And it comes with this great little uh, guidebook. Let's see if I can get that in the picture there. There we go. Okay. And uh, I have to use a, micro, uh, a microwave. <laughs> I have to use a uh, magnifying glass. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. To be able to read the doggone thing because it's still the print so small. Even with my glasses on, I have a hard time. So let's go ahead and take these out. And we're going to go through these. And let's see. If I can line this up. These are so much smaller. Wow. I might be able to. Let's see if I can adjust. There we go. Adjust the camera just a little bit. I guess I should have checked this before. Okay. And, of course, there's the tin box it comes in. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Let's get going. We're going to be starting with the major arcana. And then from there, moving on to the different suits of the minor arcana. And um, let's have some fun. Okay. First up, we've got the full. Always the starter. Next up is the magician. You know, I really love these cards. I love the I love the artwork on it. The high priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The lovers, the chariot, strength, the hermit, the wheel, justice. The Hanged Man. Death or Rebirth. Temperance. The Devil. Isn't that how the devil always looks to? <laughs> the Tower. The star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world. And all right. Now we're moving into the wands. Ace of wands. Two of wands. Three of wands. Four of wands. Five of wands. Six of wands. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, 
nine of wands. Ten of wands. Page of wands. Knight of wands. Queen of wands. King of Wands. Next up, we're moving to Cups. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Let's see here. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Now we're going to the Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. And now we're moving to Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a great little deck. Um, one of the reasons why I really like the Light Sears, I want to see if I can find... Uh, find the, the passage where she talks about this is the way that she looks at the the cards themselves let's switch back here hang on okay i like the way she puts it um when it comes to upright or reversals and i put my glasses back on so i can read this hopefully i don't have to dig out the magnifying glass but she talks about when she's created this deck, she was determined to create a healing deck, um, one that was aligned with contemporary spiritual experiences in uh, 21st century life. She doesn't really buy into the reversals, so to speak. Um, 
She said that her goal was to create a happy deck that would that would lift her up without sacrificing the incredible ability for the tarot to be able to illustrate exactly what it is that we're reading on. And um, she doesn't have like upright and reversal. You have the light seer. I don't know if you can see this or not. See, you'll get like the light seer and the shadow seer for the different cards. And basically, it's just a way of um, just the way that she she looks at the cards as we all have we all have um, positive and negative things that happen, and that's kind of from this was my interpretation of what she was saying. We all have that positive and negative within our lives and that just because something negative is happening and it's our, in our lives doesn't necessarily mean that it's something bad um and that she wants folks to use her cards in the aspect of that say you're answering a question and the card is upright when you answer it but when you look at the meaning of that card, according to her guidebook, the shadow seer will answer the question far better than the light seer, even though the card is upright and not reversal. And so that's one of the things that she emphasizes with her cards is to use your intuition, which you want to do anyway. I mean, there are a lot of times when I read the cards and my intuition and my interpretation of what I'm getting off of them is nothing at all what the book says. And it took me a while to trust myself enough to just go with what I feel. And sometimes I still have a hard time with that because it, it just feels weird at times. Um, but what she says in her little book uh, what she talks about is that um, to read the cards intuitively, look at both meanings, because sometimes the answer to the question can be both the upright and the reversal answer combined, or it could be more of one than the other, regardless of what position the card is in. And so I kind of like the way she looks at that, because that's kind of how I looked at it and didn't realize it. I didn't, I didn't quite know how to verbalize that. So um, anyway, if you get rather, if it's the regular light seer deck, or if you get this uh, cool little pocket edition, uh, I got this from Hay House. They sent it out. Um, they're doing a bunch of their other cards in these little pocket editions with the tins. So that's really cool. Um, it's nice. You can throw them in your purse and you don't have to worry about the cards getting messed up. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I mean, I love my writer Smithweight deck, you know, the regular writer deck. Um, and I have a lot of other tarot decks. I'm getting ready to do flip throughs for a couple of more tarot decks that I have. Um, because each one kind of has its own story, even though they're all basically saying the same thing. There's enough nuance in each deck and how that deck is created, how that artwork is created. There's just enough nuance in it to make it a little different than every other deck. So it's good to have a basic understanding and gist of the card of generally specifically over all cards what that means but it's also nice depending on what kind of reading you're doing to be able to pull out a deck of cards that the nuance of those cards is going to fit that atmosphere that question that that person you're reading for um so 
something I've been learning to do is to take all of that into consideration when I'm doing a reading, whether if it's live on a show and it's just a quick read or whether if it's a personal in-depth reading. Um, I like to look at the person that I'm reading for, look at the question, what are they asking for? And, um, and then kind of go with my intuition as to which tarot deck would fit best. And um, like I find some tarot decks work a lot better with political readings than personal readings. And so, um, and everybody's different. We all have our favorites. Um, Light Sears is quickly becoming my favorite tarot deck. I really like this deck. I like the artwork in it. Um, so take your time with it. Um, you know, like I said, kind of learn the, the general kind of overall meaning of each card. Um, you know, I have to you know, I have to memorize each card. But if you have a basic understanding of what each card stands for or what that suit stands for, like, you know, cups are emotions and swords are air and um, that kind of thing, you, you get a better idea of what direction to go in. And don't be afraid to follow your, intu your intuition and go in that direction. So y'all have a wonderful day. Morning, noon, night, whatever. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up so I can start downloading it and get to work on the next deck. I'm going to try to get several of them knocked out this weekend. So uh, y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to everyone later. Bye for now. <laughs>